Hi everyone, welcome along to Sports Pizza. Of course, my name is Hadeni Falano. Today promises to be a very, very exciting one on the show. We have a lot to talk about from other sports, talking about the Italian Open, where Carlos Alcaraz, uh, Igor Swatek, and of course Nova Djokovic, uh, they are all doing great things over there in Italy. Also, we have news from the NBA Lakers, a true to the final of the Western Conference. All of this we have for you on the show as well as football. The golden neglect of Nigeria crashed out last week. We all know that. But we are gradually getting to the final stage of the under-17 tournament. And of course, your guess is as good as mine. Senegal are true to the final of the tournament. We have all of this for you on the show. We're also going to touch base with Europe where we have news from the Premier League, Italian Serie A, the Bundesliga, French League on, as well as the uh, Spanish La Liga, where Barcelona have been crowned champions of the season for 2022-2023. All of this we have for you on the show, but we'll go on a very, very quick break. When we come back, we'll delve into all the stories. Don't go anywhere. Glad to have you guys join us back for Sports Pizza. Of course, let's delve into all the stories we have for you. Let's start off with football, where uh, not so good news regarding Nigerian football. And of course, you know that already. The Golden Neglect crashed out of the Under-17 tournament. And they are not going for the Under-17 World Cup because they couldn't make it past Burkina Faso at the quarterfinal stage. You're talking about the semi-final games that were played over the weekend. Algeria, uh, the host nation, are also not in the tournament. They already crashed out you know, from uh, the quarterfinal stage also. But another North African team, talking about Morocco, will be facing off with Senegal in the final. Of course, Morocco defeated West African neighbors, talking about Mali, 6-5 on penalties after their game ended goalers. Uh, of course, and they had to settle for the penalty shootouts where uh, Morocco progressed to the final. Talking about the team also progressing to the final, I said that earlier on, that is the Senegalese team. Of course, when you're talking about Senegal in African football, they have been dominating for the past two years. Talking about the under-17, the under-20, the women's football, and of course, their senior team won the CAF AFCON. I'm very sure you remember that particular tournament. They also won the CHAN tournament, talking about Senegal. So you don't want to bet against them winning this under-17 tournament again. Exciting time to be a Senegal uh, football uh, lover at this particular moment. But hey, what is going to happen to our golden neglect? Unduka Ugba just said he was happy. Uh, he is happy rather with the outcome of the Golden Eagle, with how they perform at the tournament. But Nigerians are definitely not happy that the Golden Eagle failed. They failed to qualify for the Under-70 World Cup, where we are the best nation when it comes to 8th grade football, talking about the Under-17 at the international stage. The Golden Eagles have won 5 Under-17 tournaments, but hey, they won't be able to increase the particular number because they are not going for the world stage. So who is going to win between Morocco and Senegal in the final of the Under-17 tournament? Well, that is left to be seen. But one thing you can definitely be sure of is that they are sports pizza who will serve you all the news regarding that particular tournament and the outcome of the final between Senegal and Morocco in Algeria. Moving away from the under 17 and of course from football for a bit, but we're still going to go back to football. But hey, let's touch base with other sports and tell you what is happening in the Italian Open in Rome. And the news that we're getting is that Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic have made it to the next round of the tournament as well as Iga Swatek. She was able to brush aside our opponent talking about Tusirenko 6 2 6 0 to reach the last 16 in Rome. And of course, the world number one is now the Femme right to collect his third straight Italian title because she has won the last two Italian Open and she's on course to win it at the third time. And uh, the news is that Ariana Sebalenka, Jessica Pegula, Oris Jabwe, and Carolina Garcia all suffered an early exit at the tournament, leaving Iga Swatek as the clear favorite to win it. Even the American teenager talking about Coco Golf also suffered an early exit at the tournament. Iga Swatek right now is in the league of our own. And of course, moving away from that, but still sticking with tennis, let's say that in the male category, Nova Djokovic also also made it to the next round. Of course, he is the defending champion of the Italian Open. He won the Italian Open last year, 2022. So he's looking to defend his title. And of course, he had to battle two 
uh, he had to battle through three sets in this particular encounter, of course, beating Gregor Dimitrov in three sets to continue his bid for his seventh Roman tie two. And of course, he won 6 3, 4 6, 6 1 in two hours and 19 minutes. And of course, he's going to be facing Martin Fushkovic uh, next to determine if he's going to be making it to uh, the quarter uh, final. Of course, world number two, who will most likely become world number one next week when the new rankings are released for the world of ATP. And that is Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz. He also made it to the next round after defeating fellow Spanish, talking about Albert Ramos Vinolas, 6 4 6 1, to advance to the third round. And of course, Carlos Alcaraz was played just six days after winning. I will play just six days after winning the Madrid Open. Uh, definitely did not relent on his power beating uh, the fellow Spaniard. And of course, he also has made it to the next round. One thing we can guarantee you again is that we'll keep you updated with what is going on in the world of tennis. The Italian Open, by the way, is a dress rehearsal for the next Grand Slam that is going to be happening in France. Talking about the French Open. Or Roland Garros, whichever one you want to call it. On the 25th of May, that particular tournament is starting. But one man talking about the Mr. Clay himself, talking about Rafael Nadal, most likely will not be playing at that particular tournament because he's definitely building up fitness, but he has uh, he doesn't have time on his side to make it to that particular tournament. He has won 14 clay courts in tournaments, talking about the French Open, and he wants to win the 15th one. Will he be able to do that? Well, that is left to uh, be seen. So moving away from tennis, let's touch base with basketball. And for Lakers fans, it's definitely a good time right now because LA Lakers are through to the final of the Western Conference after they eliminated the 2022 NBA winners, talking about Golden State Warriors over the weekend. 38-year-old LeBron James at 30 points in the win. Of course, Lakers won 122-101 to in the best of seven series. 4-2, it ended in favor of Lakers. Golden State Warriors were trying, or they tried their possible best to push it to a 3-3 and force a game. Lakers and LeBron James have other ideas, making sure that the game did not get into game seven. 4-2, it ended in favor of LA Lakers. And of course, they will have to face off with Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference Final to see if they can make it to the NBA Finals uh, all together. Well, with LeBron James in form, and of course, Anthony Davis also in form, you don't want to bet against LA Lakers making it to the final of the NBA all together, and of course, winning the NBA for the year 2023. So that is that regarding the world of basketball. Before we go on another break this morning, let's have you also uh, news regarding the French Ligue 1. And of course, Lionel Messi, uh, cast your mind back to uh, a couple of weeks back, he was suspended by Paris Saint-Germain for an unauthorized trip to Saudi Arabia. And according to a report, Lionel Messi might be signing for a Saudi Arabian club or Barcelona because Barcelona are trying their possible best to make sure that he comes back to the club. But the news right now is that Paris Saint-Germain have taken a step further to winning the French league on title that they won last season. And of course, after they won five goals to nothing against Ajaccio. And of course, that five new defeat confirmed Ajaccio relegated from the French league on uh, this season. And of course, goals from Fabian Ruiz, Akrafa Kimi, and of course, Mbappe scoring twice. Made sure, made sure that Paris Saint Germain have taken one step, one step further to retaining the title. Of course, they are closely followed by RC Lens, who also won over the weekend two goals to one at home against Ted Dream. Six points separating uh, both teams, talking about the number one Paris Saint-Germain and RC Lens in second place. Paris Saint-Germain just need to win four more points and they have retained their title. Of course, it's going to be their 11th title in their career. Well, will they be able to take that? Well, that is left to be seen. So we'll go on a very, very quick break. When we come back, we'll be serving you news from other leagues in a row. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Sport Pizza. Of course, I'm very sure you enjoyed the first half of the show. Just so you know, you can send us a shout out on our social media platform at Sport Pizza across our platform, talking about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, the YouTube channel. You can also send us a message via the mail uh, displaying on your screen. Okay, let's get a reaction. Let's get a thought of what we can do better on the show and how well yeah, we can serve you uh, good content on the show. So moving ahead from that, let's touch base with the Premier League where Arsenal fans are the dream 
dream to win the Premier League uh, this season has finally been shattered. Well, Mikel Arteta is still saying it's much more possible for Arsenal to win the Premier League. And of course, over the weekend, City uh, proved their title credentials by beating Everton three goals to nothing away from home at Goodison Park. E.K. Gudogan has definitely picked the right time to pick from for City, scoring two and of course assisting the header for Ellen Allen. Definitely a masterclass performance from Pep Guardiola's side. And of course, uh, Arsenal were not able to respond to City beating Everton 3 new away from home. And of course, they lost at home to Brighton. Cast my back to when Brighton lost at home to Everton a couple of days back. The Brighton manager talking about Roberto Di He said they are going to see or we are going to see the true Brighton against Arsenal. And guess what? He delivered on that promise with Brighton beating us now three goes to nothing was that beating i can call that a trashing you know at home and of course that all but ended arsenal's title hope for this season but but michael ateta has said arsenal can still win the league mathematically is still possible well i don't like mathematics for one and i don't think it's definitely going to happen arsenal are not i'm not going to win the premier league this season but arsenal fans they dreamt and the dream uh, was worth it but hey at the end of the day they had to wake up from that particular dream and uh, arsenal are not going to be winning the Premier League this season. Not just the Premier League title race is on the line. Of course, the top four race is also on the line right now with Newcastle United dropping points away from home against relegation threatening uh, Leeds United. Manchester United finally won a game after losing two straight games against Brighton and West Ham respectively. And of course, they defeated Wolverhampton Wanderers two goals to nothing at home. Alejandro Ganacho returning from injury to score late in the second half to give Manchester United a 2 0 victory. Of course, after Anthony Martial gave them the lead in the first half. United, talking about Manchester United, definitely have to win one of their last two home games to confirm their qualification for Champions League next season. They have opened a four-point lead ahead of uh, their closest challenger, talking about Liverpool, who are in fifth position. Liverpool definitely be looking to cut that lead back to just one point. Well, if there's one thing we can guarantee you again on the show, is definitely to serve the news regarding that. I'm talking about relegation. Paul Onoachu Sadamtin have been relegated from the Premier League after the loss at home over the weekend against Fulham. The return Mitrovic, who was suspended for eight games, uh, gave Fulham the two goal lead uh, that confirmed Sadamtin relegation to the championship for next season. But one thing you can expect is that Sadamtin should bounce back. They should be back in the Premier League come next uh, season. Not next season, the upper season. Uh, but will they be able to do what Burnley did? because Burnley are back in the Premier League again well that is left to be seen but hey uh, that is that regarding uh, the Premier League this morning moving here from the Premier League let's go to the Spanish La Liga where Barcelona have been crowned the Spanish La Liga champions for the 2022-2023 season after they won the Catalonia derby over the weekend beating Espanyol four goes to two away from home. Real Madrid did their own job beating Getafe 1-0 over the weekend too. But uh, Barcelona now have been confirmed the champion for the season. With less than four games left to be played in the season, Barcelona have opened a 13-point lead ahead of Real Madrid and that has confirmed them champions for the season. Good one for Xavi. He has been able to get his hand on the Spanish La Liga title. He won it as a player. Now he has won it as a coach. Now they want to win the Champions League. Will they be able to do that? Well, that is left to be seen. The last time Barcelona won the Champions League was in the year 2015. Remember Luis Enrique? That then. And that Barcelona team had Neymar, had Suarez, had Xavi himself, and of course, had Iniesta. We Xavi lead them to a Champions League trophy next season? Well, that is left to be seen. But congratulations to Barcelona, just the way we said congratulations to Napoli uh, last season, uh, last week the show. So moving away from Spain, let's go to Italy where we have a top four race on our hands and Napoli they've won the league, yeah you know that but the race for the Champions League is definitely one that will go down till the end of the season that will go down till the end of the season and of course AC Milan, Inter Milan, AS Roma and Lazio are all uh, vying for the two spots remaining in the Champions League race. Juventus won over the weekend and that put them second in the Italian Serie A. But Lazio are back in fourth with Inter Milan in third. And of course AC Milan in fifth and AS Roma in sixth. We have three games left till the end of the season in the Italian Serie A. With AC Milan, will they be able to make it to the Champions League next season? Well, that is left 
tov is sin also. Yes, Roma, uh, we, thought, we thought they were going to give the big boys a run for their money, but summer, summer, they've managed to drop form uh, towards the end of the season. So once again, Napoli are number one in Italy, followed by Juventus, followed by Inter Milan, followed by Lazio, and of course, we have AC Milan in fifth position. At AC Milan, let's switch just to the Champions League because we are going to be having the return leg of the Champions League uh, this week. Of course, we had last week we had AC Milan losing to Inter Milan 0 to 2, and of course, Man City and Real Madrid playing a 1 1 draw. Man City will be hosting Real Madrid at the Etihad this coming week. Man City, they are on course to win the treble. I'm very sure that will not delight Manchester United fans because the last team to win a treble in England was definitely Manchester United. And they won the FA Cup, won the Premier League, and won the Champions League. That was the year 1999. Will City be able to do it this time around? Well, that is left to be seen. They are in the FA Cup final playing against Manchester United. They are four points ahead of Arsenal in the league with a game in hand. And also, they will be playing Real Madrid in the return leg of the Champions League this week. 1-1, it ended in the first leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. Will Man City win? Well, that is left to be seen. I, for one, am rooting for Man City to win that particular game. Of course, let us know in the comments social media platform what you feel is going to happen between Man City and Real Madrid as well as Inter Milan and AC Milan. I for one I think the game between Inter Milan and AC Milan is done and dusted. I don't see how AC Milan can make it to the final of the Champions League after they lost the first leg two goes to nothing. So that is that regarding the Champions League and finally let's touch base with Germany and tell you that Borussia Dortmund definitely holding on uh, for the tied to both Bayern and also telling them that we are not going to relinquish the top spot for you guys. We've made that mistake. You guys didn't take advantage of that and we are back at the number one spot. We are definitely not going to sleep again because both teams won over the weekend with Bayern beating Shako for six goals to nothing. Dortmund beating Borussia Mönchengladbach five goals to two. One point is what is separating both teams at this particular moment with two games. Yeah, you heard that right. Two games left to be played uh, before the end of the season. Uh, will Bayern be able to hold on or will Dortmund be able to push Bayern off the top spot? Well, that is left to be seen. Of course, I'm putting my money on Bayern money retaining the Bundesliga title this season. Dortmund had their chance. And they blew it. Thomas Tuchel is definitely a lucky man at this particular moment. He came into the job with less than 10 games to be played. And he's going to be adding the Bundesliga title to his CV. Well, Chelsea, you fired the man. And the man is about to win a Bundesliga title with Bayern. Uh, Thomas Tuchel are getting lucky by winning trophies. Well, it is what it is in the world of football. I'm sure you enjoyed that play of the week from all of us here at Sports Pizza. Do well to drop your comment, just like I said earlier on. Send us a message on the email address being displayed on your screen. And follow us on all our social media platforms across Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as follow us on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. My name is Adeni Falanotti. We'll come away again next week. Bye for now.